Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this voltage sensor for Arduino. As you can see, this is the input voltage that is connected, so this is detecting it. Now this is connected to Arduino, and you can see the reading here on the screen. So let me change the voltage so you can see it. I've just changed 10.4. Let me just increase it. Make it 20 volts. So let's get started and explain how we can use it. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So this is the module and we have here labeled as ground and then we have this is a VCC this is the point that you connect the voltage ground and the point that you want to measure and then on this side we have three terminal here if the signal this goes to a zero and then negative goes to the ground the positive is just useless it, it, you don't have to connect it it's not connected to anything so this is how it looks like so just unscrew and connect your wires It's very simple, just two resistors, but it eliminates a lot of wiring that you do, so it makes life easy. So here is the width. The width is 13.7 millimeter. Uh, the length of this, the length is 26.8 millimeter. And the depth or height is 11.6 millimeter. So now I'm going to show you the connection. So let me explain the wiring here now. So this goes to the ground of the source voltage, wherever you want to measure. And this is the actual voltage. So this is ground, so you put it at two points. But this must be ground and this side must be uh, connected to the actual voltage. The, S, the signal is connected to the... Uh, analog zero here and then the m negative that is labeled here is connected to the ground so now let me explain the code I've set here an integer offset that is 20 so this is a correction value if you see some variation you can add your value here otherwise you can just set it to zero so in my case I have added 20 for correction after that, inside the setup, we have uh, set up the serial monitor so you can see this text that is due to this one. And make sure that you have here this 9600 baud set selected because if this is different, you will not be able to see it. So this must match. And then inside the loop, which is sourced from here to here, we read, we say read analog. Uh, zero so that is analog read it reads a value and stores it in volts so this is a value between zero and 1023 in the next line this uh, method called map it has a five parameter the first one is the value that you want to map to something so we say get the value of volt uh, which is from zero to 1023 and map it to 0 and 1 and to 2500 the result of this whatever it is we say plus the offset that is the offset that we have here so if your module works perfectly you just set 0 don't touch this it will work fine or completely remove this whichever way you are comfortable and then the voltage is now a value that needs 100 times bigger because we have two zeros and here we say take voltage and then divide it by 100 so it makes it uh, 100 times small and then we get the decimal point. So that is very nice. Otherwise, if you just make it from 0 to 25, you will get only 1 volt increment. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 10, 20 and you will never get some numbers in between. And then we print this text and then the value of the voltage will be printed here. And then we wait 500 milliseconds, which is half a second before we read again 
So if you want reading faster, reduce this value. If you want to make it slower, increase this value and the voltage will be displayed. So here is once again for the demonstration. As you can see, we have here 20 volts. So the maximum that this one can measure is 25 volts because the module is made for 25 volts. So now even if I put here 30 volts, it measures 25 plus the 20 millivolts, that 200 millivolts that I put for the offset. So that is the maximum that this can measure, but actual voltage is 30, so this cannot do it. And there is a trick, which I'm going to explain it to do it. So let me go to the lower voltage. As you can see now, we are at 17. So that is 8 point. So it's pretty accurate. So now my multimeter, my voltmeter, needs some voltage to work. So 3.92. So that, let me explain the module. So this, these are the two wires, the input of the module that we measure and connect. And these are the wires. This goes to A1. Here, this goes to A1 and this goes to the ground. So actually we are measuring the voltage across this, but proportionally we are just adjusting it. So it doesn't matter. So when we put that connected to a source, let's say the battery or whatever, you're trying to measure there is a 30 kilo ohm and then 7.5 kilo ohm resistor that uh, is dividing the voltage and it goes so to measure let's say the voltage a higher voltage then you can put another resistor between the two from this point this goes to a1 so we are putting another resistor here at this point we are putting another resistor so when we put the other resistor, because we cannot change this, this is depending on the voltage we can select. Now here is a calculation. Let's call that Rx, the unknown R. So Rx is equal Vx, the voltage that you are measuring, minus 25 over this 25 over 30 kilo per 7.5 kilo ohm. This is amount of the current. So R is equal V over I. So we are getting the voltage here, and that's our formula. Now let's say you're trying to measure 120 volts, and you want to find out what resistor is needed. Then 120 minus 25 divided by this is 142.5 kilo ohm. So you need to put 142.5 kilo ohm resistor here, and then connect this to up to 120 volts, and then you will be able to measure. Uh, but accordingly, you have to uh, change this one here for 120 volts. Just put 120 and then two zeros that we put. So then it will work fine. And for any other voltage, just remember, just put extra two zeros because here we are dividing by 100. If you put one zero divided by 10, if you put three zeros divided by 1000. So this is just an example. At this point, just put 142 kilo ohm resistor, and that's the ground. Then connect, and then connect this point to the point that you are measuring with the ground. Thank you very much. Uh, this was introduction to this voltage sensor. Please thumb up the video. Please share it, and also subscribe. And also, you can see a lot of other projects and codes that we have at robojacks.com/learn/arduino.